Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, we'll just give it a couple minutes while people continuously trickle in. Uh, but we're excited to review the process in which you can utilize Deep Green Solar um, and their small to medium sized commercial offering for PPAs through Open Solar. So, uh, Open Solar continuously adding more finance options for you and your team and your business to grow and scale and to have solutions uh, for any type of customer that you have and that you're working with. So as, as we go through the webinar, please feel free to drop questions into the Q&A section um, of the below toolbar there, and we will either try to answer them live um, or uh, get to them at the Q&A portion of the webinar uh, that we've reserved at the end. So what we're looking at here is just a quick promotional video that if you're an open solar user, you've probably seen, um, but just highlighting the different features that exist on open solar. Um, but Chris, I think we can go forward to the next slide, please. And perhaps I've already done the intro. As I said, we're looking to close more deals with Deep Green Solar and what they have to offer in the industry um, through Open Solar. So the idea being you're designing and proposing and pitching customers in Open Solar as many of you do today. And perhaps if you don't um, and you want a demo or you want to do a migration, please reach out to us and we'll help you completely provision your account and get you set up so that your team's ready to go and everything's dialed in um, for, for that type of open solar migration. Um, so moving forward, uh, you have me here, Mark Matos, I pro experience manager. So I manage the US team for open solar and then I'll, I'll let everybody else here introduce themselves. Everyone, Chris Takahashi also from the open solar side and on the pro experience team. So helping out with support and growth of our uh, pro experience base and you as the solar professional are the pro. So uh, excited to be here. Hey guys, uh, Nate Berner from Deep Green Solar. We're looking forward to talking with you about what we can do, what we can do for you, and the opportunities we can help you unlock in small commercial. I'm Chris White, and I handle the operations and engineering at Deep Green Solar. So the projects that you bring to the the table, we'll work with you on and help get built and, and financed. Great, thank you, everybody. So we're going to launch a, a quick poll here. Um, so do you currently offer finance solutions? And then as the poll appears on your screen, just answer A, B, C, or D. You know, as, as someone that's been in solar for a decade plus, it's, we're really, and I'm really excited about this offering because it, it always has been kind of a, a gap in the industry to have a finance solution, particularly a PPA that's easy to use and easy to access for small, medium-sized commercials. So super excited to have this available to you guys. Um, so if you are offering finance, you know, we can add this to your suite of options for small, medium-sized commercial. And if not, then we can talk about what it takes and what it might look like for you to do that. So it looks like most are. Um, that's great. That's great because the no business need to apply for it on their own. You know, that's, that's something that you now can, can help and essentially hold their hand throughout if you're offering this to them um, as a PPA finance option. Great. Well, thank you. I'll hand it over to the deep green guys here and, and let them kind of talk a little bit more about their product. And again, if you have any questions, please drop them into the Q&A section. Yeah, thanks very much, Mark. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's jump into it. We'll try and keep this quick, so we've got time for Q and A. Uh, and of course, you guys can always follow up with us uh, after the call with any other questions you you might have. So, a couple things we wanted to emphasize with the uh, with the PPA for commercial uh, from the perspective of the building owner. This is NPV positive day one. They don't have to come out of their pocket for anything. 
and they should see savings of 10 to 25 percent uh, immediately on their electricity spending by by going solar through the PPA. And just um, to be clear with the PPA, Deep Green is the long term owner operator of the of the solar assets. Um, we, you know, in general, one of the things we also like to, to emphasize with the building owners is that a PPA doesn't mess up their balance sheet. There's no like sneaky debt or anything like that that would go on their balance sheet. Um, it's just, you know, right now they're paying, they're getting, they're paying the utility for their electricity and going forward, they're going to pay the utility and deep green and that total that they're spending on electricity is going to be whatever, around 20% less than what they were paying before. You know, Love gives maybe uh, selling and, and installing residential projects. And I think when you start to get into the commercial deals, there's, there's a few things, obviously, that uh, need to be considered. And, and the first and foremost, obviously, they're bigger. Uh, but it does take uh, a little bit more time and, and upfront hand holding uh, with the business and, and the business owner. The close is a little bit more difficult. Um, and, and really being able to present them an option between cash and financing is really important. Um, and working with them on the benefits of you know performance guarantee of you know no costs up front uh, and the the ease of ownership from from their standpoint they get the benefits of the the cost reduction without having to to manage the overhead and the the maintenance or any of the the problems that could be encountered down the road that's what we do as the the financier and the owner of that system. Um, it, it also takes a little bit longer from a permitting standpoint. So dealing with your AHJ and getting the, the designs approved uh, will take a little bit longer, a little bit more involved. So being able to work with, with those requirements, uh, we do bring in an uh, independent engineer to, to help with the, the, the diligence on these projects and helping to, to make sure that these are a valid project and um, you know, basically offering some support there. Working with interconnection, you know, again, interconnection uh, studies sometimes are required. Again, it's a, it could be more involved process. If it's a larger system, uh, making sure that there's transmission um, available with the utility. So making sure that you do those studies up front and this doesn't become a problem down the road is, is really important. It's more complex than a, than a standard residential project. Um, and then, you know, the duration of the project uh, tends to be longer. Again, it could take longer from a uh, interconnection standpoint, from a permitting standpoint, um, you know, the builds actually go fairly fast, but sometimes the supply chain is longer. Um, so making sure you, you have supply chain that's uh, available or that, that can be brought to the project on a timely basis, um, you know, working with the, if it's, a, if it's a business where there are requirements as far as when you can get on the rooftop and, and things like that. If it's a carport, uh, making sure that uh, uh, yeah, you can time and, and schedule the project around the business hours of operation is important. So things of those nature are a little bit different, but uh, things that, that we do all the time and, and are happy to work with you on and from a financing perspective uh, can help move the projects forward in a, in a timely basis. Right. So as far as what we do versus what we'd be looking to you guys to do. So we handle, we generally handle the PPA docs. We do the, the credit check and we work through uh, an EPC agreement with you. Uh, and then, yeah, we're long-term owner operators. We would be looking to you guys to own the, the customer relationship uh, before, before the project comes online and we kind of take over and looking at you guys to design the project, um, do the interconnect and incentives applications, uh, and then obviously source the materials and equipment and uh, build the thing. Uh, to the extent that you're a, sort of a developer that is not looking to do the EPC, we can bring in an EPC that we're friendly with. So that's, that's fine as well. And then as far as the, the building owner, which we're calling the customer or PPA offtaker here, all they really have to do is just give us um, their utility data so we can confirm that the savings they're going to get from solar are, are going to be attractive. And then three years of financials or the equivalent, if it's a, if it's a nonprofit, something like tax returns could, could work as well. Um, and then they would just need to sign the, the PPA. As far as what's most likely to work for a, a deep green PPA, uh, 
size wise, as you see there, kind of 75 kW to around a megawatt. And you know, basically that means we want to start looking at things around $150,000 of EPC. Uh, these smaller projects are fine with us, but the price is obviously going to be a little bit higher than it would be with some of the, the larger projects. Uh, feel free to include storage and EV charging in your system design if that's what uh, if that's what makes sense. We're happy to finance that. And as far as credit, uh, yeah, it's it's common sense. It's just are these guys going to be around for the long term? Um, it's okay if they don't have a you know a credit rating or something like that. Um, you know, if we're looking at like a yacht club, we can look at you know how many members there are and how long the wait list is we can be we can be creative but um yeah we, we definitely need to get confident that these guys are around for the long term uh the sectors sort of schools generally uh homeowners associations and commercial owners associations are great um places to look at multifamily residential as well uh anything that touches healthcare tends to be good and then, you know, you know, the solar can be, uh, it can save people a lot of money statewide, but um, in particular, solar is likely to pencil in the Northeast, in California, uh, in the other mid-Atlantic states that have um, state-level uh, rec programs. And then, you know, anywhere you can find those ITC adders from something like um, community, um, energy communities or, or some of the adders that are out there, um, that's going to go a long way to, to making solar pencil. Yeah. So how do you get a, a PPA quote pronto? Um, I, I think in a, in a couple of slides, they'll show you how to get from the open energy portal into the deep green portal. So this is kind of a little bit jumping the gun, but all we really need to know to generate pricing for you within typically a couple hours is the um, size, production, mounting type, and EPC cost or PPA rate for the project. Uh, our intake form should take you less than a minute to fill out. We've, we've everything's kind of tailored for for folks like you guys uh, to make your lives easy. So another another quick poll, just kind of curious of the attendees here. Um, are you currently using Open Solar for the majority of your design and proposals? So yes or no, under fifty percent, over fifty percent. Again, just give that a minute before we go into the Open Solar portion of the webinar of which I'll spend a few minutes just chatting about open solar and then uh, hand it over to Chris to uh, take us through a quick demo and show you where and how to access deep green. Well, I'm glad to see that the 17 folks are, are using open solar predominantly. Um, people that answered no would love to know why and see if there's anything we can do and our team can do to assist in, in getting you over. And also the under 50%, see what, what the barriers are there uh, to using open solar. So thank you for, for answering that. Um, and if we take us to the next slide, please, Chris. So open solar, we, we are a, a SaaS solution for the solar industry. 97% um, of installers that we've pulled are relying on a SaaS solution to operate their business. And one of the major issues that we are, are continuously told is how installers are needing to hop to multiple platforms just to sell one deal. Our main goal at Open Solar is to keep you in Open Solar from the moment the lead comes in all the way through the system is installed. So one in five solar contractors uh, outsource their plan sets, which we can do in Open Solar. One in four outsource their permit packs, then one in three outsource financing. Uh, of those, all integrations that we have in Open Solar. <laughs> So next slide, you can just skip over this next one that says why open solar and we'll just jump right into it. So 
we, we are the world's leading design and proposal software. And I say that because we have a massive presence in the European market and the Australian market. Uh, we launched in Australia several years ago, and we ho- hold predominant market share there um, and are growing tremendously in Europe and, of course, the, the American market. As most of you probably know, we're free of charge to you, the pro or the contractor. We have a dynamic business model that is different than your typical subscription model uh, that charges by seat, um, by a number of deals or proposals, rather, or projects. So 100% completely free to use open solar. We monetize through the number and numerous and variety or various um, integrations that we have. So um, built by solar professionals. So who, who's pictured here is, is Adam Pryor on the left and uh, Andrew Birch, or commonly referred to as Birchy, on the right. So Birchy, as, as some may know, he was one of the founders and CEO of Sungevity. Um, and if you remember that name, Sungevity, in their day, they were the third largest residential solar company um, in the U.S. And they were also the first solar company to build a remote solar design tool that really launched virtual sales. Um, and Adam Pryor was uh, the brain behind building that original RSD tool, remote solar design. So these two handsome gentlemen got back together several years ago and started the concept of open solar and started building out what it would look like. Um, So we've built open solar to really support any type of solar business that you run and operate. So again, please, if you'd like some support in building out your open solar account to really align with how you uh, sell and all your workflows, let us know and and we're happy to do so. Next slide, please. So again, fast, speed to lead. We can create custom interactive proposals in under five minutes with automatic 3D designs that you just paint on the panels, pitch, azimuth, scale, shade, all of that are auto calcs. Integrated finance, so you can get instant credit approvals or credit decisions straight out of the open solar proposal tool. Um, we have e-signature capabilities straight out of the tool, and of course, payment options right out of the tool as well, the proposal tool, that is. So accuracy, or accuracy, because what good is speed without the accuracy piece, right? So third-party validated best-in-class design, so that's a third-party engineering from NREL and PVAL that was done, and you can read more about that at opensolar.com backslash accuracy. So, of course, accurate proposals lead to fewer change orders, happier customers, and a much faster pull-through rate with higher conversions. And as mentioned before, all-in-one solution with a built-in CRM and a workflow management tool, post-sale documentation where you can share NEM docs or any AHJ docs that are required on the fulfillment side, um, user manual, site plans, et cetera. There's an open API that you can integrate your existing technology suite to. So you have a lead gen that drops into the CRM, click of a button, it opens up open solar and up pops the uh, customer contact information address and the image of um, the site on the screen. And you can just drop right into design and of course, support it on on smartphone and, and tablet apps as well. So we're going to jump into the demo. And here, for those that are familiar to access the deep green um, intake form, you would just click get a quote and fill that in and send it over to deep green. But with that, uh, Chris will show you live exactly where to do that. And also just go through a quick demo on on building a project for those that haven't seen it on on OpenSolar and and really just highlight the the, the best things about about the uh, technology. All right. Thank you so much, Mark and uh, Nate and Chris for uh, sharing us uh, all the info on Deep Green's product offerings. Okay, great. So I think we've jumped into our Open Solar account here. And for those that are familiar with Open Solar, um, you know, this will be a bit of a refresher, of course. But for those that are new, this is uh, what you'll see when you log into Open Solar for the first time. Typically, you'll drop back into the projects zone. So there is the home zone where you can create a project from scratch. Um, review, you know, your pipeline snapshot um, at a high level. Projects is where all of your projects live, listed in chronological order. 
You can filter by various uh, tags here in the top right corner, by state, by system size, project sold date. Of course, with our open API, you can really get the best of both worlds when it comes to project management. So you can API all of your projects over to your CRM and, and keep track of projects there post-sale. Uh, the control zone is where you'll get your account provision and set up all of the uh, you know, settings, your team, your hardware, proposal templates, contracts, you name it, all of those back here. So this is the control dashboard uh, and your operations center of your open solar account. Uh, so I'm going to jump over to a project we've created uh, showing both a commercial design and a residential design. So uh, typically you wouldn't do this, but um, we'll show you how the proposal looks when you've got a mix of both and leveraging integrated finance and the deep green solar uh, project intake um, button. So if I do jump into my uh, project here, uh, the address is going to bring me to the info section of the project. So there are a number of headers and subsections of the project I can access. Again, this is info here. All of your uh, project customer details can go here. Many of these fields, if not all, will API over to your CRM if you do make that connection. There are a couple of things to point out for you to make sure that you can access deep green solar financing and that project intake form. So the first thing here is you want to make sure that your project is listed as a commercial project. So again, from the info page, uh, info page here, you'll click site details. And then this is where you'll choose the commercial setting for the project. By clicking commercial, you'll automatically have access to deep green solar financing and the project intake form. And clicking the get a quote button will pull you directly there to fill out the rest. And you know, as as mentioned earlier, within a few hours, you're going to get a decision or get a get some information on uh, the viability of that project moving forward with PPA financing. Uh, so right here is where you access the project intake form. Very simple to do that. Just got to make sure your project's in a commercial stage. And I know from the responses we had of folks attending this webinar that uh, there's been a whole lot of interest and buzz and, and you know, kind of relief that, that we have a commercial partner now. Um, we got responses that ranged from, you know, I'm very interested and eager to, I've got a bunch of projects for commercial financing right now. I'm desperate because I don't have a partner to fund them. So uh, again, we're super happy to have this partnership. Excited to see it take off. Uh, the other financial integrations, depending on the partner we've got, you can also send the credit app directly from the info page, the manage page as well. But you can see that here for, say, Mosaic and SunGage. And then moving through this commercial project here through a commercial lens, uh, the energy section is where you're going to enter that data. And a lot of times folks are probably using uh, interval data for commercial projects. If you are, you can use Utility API. Uh, we've got a partnership with them to pull over interval data. Very easy to get connected, sync that data over. And uh, secondly, you can also set max demands um, by month and any control loads as well. So uh, just to fine tune your savings and your monthly bills, uh, we can accommodate those as well as uh, interval data through utility API. Uh, I'm gonna jump over to that design. Um, so something that's been, you know, Validated for accuracy from both the Department of Energy and REL and PVAL for bankability is our 3D design tool. So this is the version of Open Solar that we recommend using when you have access to 3D data. That's going to allow you to be the most um, precise with uh, things when it comes to scale, pitch, and shading. Uh, so we'll automatically pick up the slope for you when it comes to to scale or uh, adding panels to the roof. Um, the shading is very precise, and we're running off of system advisor model for the production calcs. Uh, 2D is great. You know, it's using PV watts for production estimates, but you're not going to get the shading that you would otherwise get in 3D design. Um, so 3D here, we'll show you just for the example of the shading analysis uh, using this carport system we built out. So I can right-click and hold on my mouse. I can zoom around the image, uh, get a nice panorama of the, the site. Uh, even before I do a design, I can click this uh, heat shade button here in the bottom right corner. This will put the irradiance on the design. And I can see by the color schemes here, we'll just give it a second, of uh, what, what the best areas are for design. So um, let's see here. I'm going to... Should be showing a, an orange and red, but um, typically you'll, you'll see that. Um, you can toggle it on or off as well. Uh, we've got 3D design, two, two images that we can show to the customer when it goes, comes to the online proposal. I've got two system designs here as well. And just to kind of show you what that design looks like when we 
run the shading analysis. It is happening automatically for us for the production estimate. And all of the calculations are shown up here when it comes to the output, offset, bill reduction, et cetera. But by clicking into the array here, either from the panels button or just by highlighting the array itself, I can access that shading tool. So here on my left side of the screen, I can click the shading dropdown. And this will show me my ray tracers for uh, every hour of the month for 12 months here. So uh, I can see, you know, if we're taking February, for instance, you know, early morning, we're getting a shade impact from the, you know, property next door. And I can go through, uh, you know, every hour of a typical, typical day in February, see the ray chasers move, and then down to the module level, see exactly um, what my production is going to be. So green is good, full, you know, full sun access. The orange and reds are showing the shade impact here, and I'm getting percentages across the year for production. And, you know, fast forwarding over to the afternoon, we can see as we hit the afternoon hours, we're getting shade, you know, from the obstruction and property next door. Um, it's really, you know, very granular and specific if you want to see, you know, down to the module level and even, you know, substring level, uh, we can see what's what's being impacted here. So very, very precise when it comes to the shading analysis, the 3D view is going to give you that power. And again, you can build out, design any system you like, 3D, 2D, whatever imagery is available. You can plug and play all of your equipment um, through our partnership model here. We've got number of hardware partners that uh, sponsor open solar allow for us to have extra marketing collateral on the proposal make it look better you know it's it's uh, great for you to leverage that equipment and 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 uh, marketing on the proposal itself and your customers have a better idea of the equipment that they're, they're actually buying um, we do have the integration with iron Ridge where you can uh, download a bill of materials it'll spit out every single piece that you need uh, for any roof mounted system. And again, you know, any kind of flavor when it comes to how you price your systems and payment options as well, whether integrated options, you'll see them here. You can, you know, mix and match depending on your, your system here. I'm going to zoom out a bit. We'll go check out the online proposal and then, uh, you know, kind of conclude with Q&A here. So I'm just going to set uh, one view here. And then with my commercial design, I'll set my second view here. So anything in the dotted frame will be on the online proposal for me. Okay. And then this is the online interactive version of the proposal. So the, the power of this is that when you send it out to the customer, you actually will get email notifications when they interact with it. So timestamps and notification, you know, how long and when is really powerful for, you know, visibility and making sure that you can follow up on leads that are, you know, hot to trot or, you know, other leads that are, you know, not as interested, you'll, you'll know uh, from the absence of those notifications. Uh, you can customize your cover message here, your about us section, your color scheme, your logo. Moving to the online proposal, you can see my multiple system options here. Uh, by choosing between different options, you'll see also my different payment options by design. So it allows for you to have your customer, you know, empower to see what's the best combination of system and payment. With the integrated options, you can see that we've got the apply now button or get pre-qualified. This pulls up the credit application. It's pre-filled and allows you to move from, you know, the proposal through financing, you know, getting approved and signing a lo loan agreement all from one place. You can also have your contracts loaded into Open Solar. So again, just the power of closing in one place as well. You can either use our native e-signing tool or use DocuSign and, you know, sign and have close, uh, close contracts right at the, at the point of the proposal itself. Uh, so with our par partner marketing, you'll see that here with our hardware, you know, either videos, brochures, and spec sheets that are all available here to review. And uh, the rest of the uh, presentation here, the proposal is rather uh, customizable when it comes to, you know, the order of your charts, graphs, and figures. You can um, add in your custom content as well. So any kind of brand marketing or company marketing, you can add in uh, via the custom content blocks. I'll show that in a second. And then you can yeah, customize how you show this information and uh, display your company. We can see all of our savings here, different tables and uh, charts here that you can access as well. Long-term savings, if you wanted to see um, you know, a detailed breakdown over 20, 25, 30 years, you can see that here. Uh, there's lots of customization that you can do. 
And then, yeah, the quotation table here, depending on the payment option and system choice, will be displayed. If it's an integrated finance option of ours, you'll see it displayed in compliant terms. You know, it really just gives you that peace of mind and that you don't have deals kicked back. And there's also a PDF version of the proposal. And the manage section of the proposal or the project is where you can uh, keep track of your um, activities and customer not notifications when they interact with this. Uh, so here's an idea of those custom content blocks that you can include. And you can put this anywhere within the proposal that you want to do. And then once you're ready, you can send it off to the customer uh, right here in the bottom right corner. Send it off. Uh, again, the manage section is where you can see all the notifications taking place. Um, send out your credit applications and access deep green financing. And again, just as a reminder, uh, in order to make sure that you can get linked over to deep green solar, you do have to make sure that within the info page here under site details that you've toggled on the commercial toggle uh, for the project. And that's where you can get connected and move forward. So I'll conclude there with uh, the demo side of things. And definitely, if you have other questions, we can jump on a one-on-one -on -one call with us and your team and help you get squared away with any account provisioning. But I'll turn it over to uh, the formal Q&A for this uh, presentation here. Question here, can a client build a plan online like Project Solar? Uh, the homeowner or the commercial client cannot build something in open solar unless they have an open solar account, which they can easily just create for free and go into the tool and, and play around with it. Um, yeah. Question from Richard, ready to sell 100 deals, where do I start? So. <laughs> Yeah, uh, music to our ears. We're happy to get you connected. The account is free to sign up, free forever. We're very stubborn about our business model. So um, but I think the next slide here, correct me if I'm wrong, Mark has information on the register link, but um, Richard will connect with you either way afterwards to, to make sure you're squared away. How do we onboard with Deep Green? No onboarding, just submit projects via the intake form. Uh, JD, the, in the info subzone under projects, just make sure that commercial is toggled on under site details, and then that'll bring up the intake form for a deep green. So if you have a small, medium commercial deal, you would just click on that and uh, it'll provide you with the, the, the questions that you need to answer in order to send the project to deep green. Yeah, and to the question about will we finance and install the project, we finance it and you guys can install it or we can use um, another installer. And yeah, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and Connecticut are great states to be looking in. Um, yeah, and, and for people who have deals they're looking for preliminary pricing on, um, you, can, you can access us via the, the Open Solar platform as, as they just showed you, or you can um, come direct to our uh, project intake form. Um, and there's no uh, access to the Deep Green platform. That's just open access. And um, as far as Open Solar, uh, I'll defer to that team. You can just go to opensolar.com and create an account. Um, and then from there, you'll be guided through a lot of self guided videos and training, and then ways to access our support team if you have any further questions. A uh, question about prepping customers for the financing approval process. Yeah, generally, we would just need to see um, three years of financials or the equivalent from them. Um, nothing too uh, onerous from their perspective. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be much work. Um, yeah, New, New Mexico is, is fine. Probably wouldn't be a PPA. It would be something similar like a lease product, but New Mexico can work. Uh, Texas is, uh, is fine. Chris, can you go to the next screen so people have contact information, please, while we continue yes. with the questions? Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, crucial there. Hey, hey Nate, we had a question from another open solar uh, partner about international financing. Do you currently offer any financing internationally or plan to uh, you know, offer financing abroad? Uh, no, not anytime soon. There's, there's plenty to do right here in the U.S. Uh, okay. So another, another question about the, the PPA rate versus a, a utility rate. Um, yeah, I mean, those are, those are pretty different. Um, so we would typically look to, uh, you can, 
you can sort of push through a higher rate if it's net metering versus uh, utility. Uh, and Deep Green does not do the permitting applications. So another question about that. So I think there's a question about permits. If we use an installer that, Nate, correct me if I'm wrong, but fairly certain the EPC would be responsible for pulling permits. Yeah, that's, that's right. The developer EPC has got to take care of the permitting. Uh, yeah, question about the spread between a PPA rate and utility rate. Um, I don't know, maybe a PPA rate. So a net metering PPA rate is going to be 30, 40% higher. Uh, and yes, we are available for one-on-one -on -one calls. As far as qualifications, uh, if Chris White is still on the line, he can give a, a rough overview of what we look for on the EPC side to qualify folks. Yeah, yeah, and, and really we're looking for uh, the number of projects that you've done. Um, NAPTEP certification is important. Um, you know, making sure that you're using uh, quality equipment, um, so any relationships you have with your, your suppliers is, is important. So we have uh, uh, equipment uh, list that we want you to work with. Um, and then uh, just financial viability, so making sure that uh, you're financially sound. And then we're, we're willing to work with you. And again, yeah, so the PPA rate for a, a net metered, let's say, rooftop project is going to be a lot higher than, um, than what you get if you're selling to the utility. But to be clear, um, the building owner will be paying less for electricity than what they pay the utility today with a, with a solar PPA. I'll ask one more question from Anthony about... Um, Suggestions, tips for folks new to commercial solar sales? I don't know if Nate or Chris, you have some um, insight to share there? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think in general, um, homeowners associations and commercial owners associations, multifamily residential, uh, anything that touches healthcare, those are really good areas to look in. Uh, and of course, schools as well. Any kind of school can be can be really good. The other suggestion I would have is to look for those um, ITC adders. Um, if you can find something with a 40 or 50% ITC, it's going to pencil. It's going to work for everybody. Great. Well, again, thank you so much, everybody, for, for joining. Um, here you have some contact information. This will also be shared with any attendees. Um, but you can visit both our websites for a lot more information. And we look forward to working with you and supporting you not only with open solar design and proposal, but access to Deep Green's uh, great PPA product for small, medium-sized commercial projects that you have in your, in your pipeline or that will be generated in your future pipeline. Have a great afternoon, everybody, and thank you very much.